Uh, hello, uh, my name is Aditya, and today I want to talk about the View Storefront UI design system and how you should be using it. So the Storefront UI design system is created by the View Storefront team which, uh, for their open source project. To get started, um, if you want to take a look at what components they have for their e-commerce design system, you can go to their store, Storybook Storefront UI. And so right here you can just see a list of all of the components that they have available listed in a molecular structure. So going from atoms to molecules to organisms and then to pages. Um, to complement this, they also provide a design system already that works, that's um, provided in Figma. So Figma is free, so anyone can download this and get started. So if you want to look at the live project, uh, they have a link to that in their community, and I'll link it down in the description of this video too. And if you want to edit that and play around with it, you can create a copy of it into your drafts and start working and seeing and uh, start playing around with it. Um, this does a pretty good job of giving you a head start so you're not starting from scratch and designing the whole system. So while this is a good head start, um, there are some ways that I thought would, that I decided to change this and evolve this so that um, it kind of better fit my needs as a designer. The main thing, there are a few things I wanted to change. Um, one was the way the components were named so that they would better align with how the name, how the components are named in the storybook that I just showed you. And also I wanted to change the way the components were actually structured and set up in Figma to make them easier to use and more reusable. And third was I wanted to implement um, a more widespread usage of the theme function, the color styles function of Figma so that designers can quickly ap apply brand themes and see what the whole e-commerce will look like with different colors and font styles. Uh, the font styles bit I'm still working on so that's going to be an improvement that you can follow along with, follow uh, along for and eventually it'll be on the file that I'm about to show. So what I did was um, created a duplicate of this file a few months back and I started working on my version of it. So here you can see the comps, the mockups of all of the pages that exist in the open source project. So these are all the same ones that you find in the base storefront UI file, uh, Figma file by the um, original view storefront team. And my goal here was not to change any of the design, it was just to change the way the file and the Figma components worked to make it easier for developers and designers to communicate with each other and work in, in a more harmonious way. So just to give an example of what kind of changes to expect in this file, um, I want to focus in on one uh, thing in particular, which is uh, menu items. The way menu items work in View Storefront is there's one menu item that is used across desktop and mobile, and in mobile it's portrayed in a certain way, and in desktop it's used in another way. And there's variations on it that you can see right here. here. So every slot is a way that you can customize this piece right here, so you can use a custom icon use a custom label so if you want to change the way the label looks if you want to change the way the count looks so the 30 that was right here and you can ch uh, decide if you want to have a nav arrow or not and you can also decide what kind of arrow you want to use so if you were to go and look for this in the original design system you would be kind of blocked because the way they treat it here which is kind of a different way which is the way they work with it here is they name it in a different context in the way that it's being used in the design instead of as a component so here the same thing here is called a category bar mobile and then it's also called a footer subpage bar and it's also called 
uh, results edit bar mobile. So all three of these at a core level are the same thing or should be the same thing as we saw in the storefront UI, but there are three separate components here which can create a bit of a challenge when designing and then communicating what components you've used. So the way I tackled this in my design system was, first of all, I laid out all the components right here in this one page, and they're all organized and named exactly how they're named in the store storybook. And right here, right away, as a designer, I can jump right to menu item, and I can see the various ways I can use this. So this is how it's used in mobile, this is how it's used in desktop. What's also nice is the way this is set up is I've used auto layout, a Figma feature, to make these a lot more um, malleable. Yeah, so what you can see is if I were to try and make every permutation combination that you can make of just a label or label in the count or the label, the count, the arrow, and then just like everything, I'd have I don't know, like 15, 20 components that I have to make. So to limit it to this amount right here, what I've done is this is actually a single component that's using auto layout to quickly, that automatically shifts where items are. So say I want to make a component, or here, let me actually go to a usage of this. So right here, this is, you can see if I go to the master component, this is the menu item mobile common. And so what I can do is go in and right here in the structure, I can add a count to it. I can remove the arrow and the count moves over to where it would be by default if the arrow wasn't there. Instead of me having to go in and manually move the 10 or the count around myself. So that's a big time saver, and if I want to add an icon, that pops in right there too with the correct amount of spacing. And if I want to remove the label, I can remove that. And so the idea is that what we have here now is a much more easily customizable item component within Figma that also complies with the official developer storybook. So you're moving more quickly with your designs and you're also speaking the same language that your developers are and if you've ever worked in an organization you know how hard it gets if designers are working in their own world and developers have no idea what's going on and then you try to mar marry those two at the end so I'm going to be constantly evolving this but and in my future videos I'm going to go through all of these components right here by atom molecule and organism and I think within a few videos I should be able to cover how each of these components works um, and how that you can customize them and how they easily map with the storybook UI that the view storefront team has created so that's it for the first video and look forward to making more of these